Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, we're going to be doing a little bit uh, of an installation video. We're going to be installing this spoiler on this area here, obviously, the back of the Q50S. So it comes with a template. This is a genuine infinity part. So it comes with this template, which comes uh, rolled up. So. Tim taped it to the cabinets so that it doesn't uh, roll or curl up uh, on the car. And then there are areas where it says here, tape first, and then you find where it says tape second, third, fourth, fifth, and then obviously you line this up around the badge. And then there are holes that you have to drill, unfortunately. So one thing that they recommend is Tektal 517, which is a military grade uh, rust proofing. So we have a brush to apply it, tools, and uh, inside the deck lid templates. And then Tim has already gone through the instructions, so all of the tools are laid out here. And then he has the bits taped off because they specifically say they don't want you to drill more than 10 millimeters. So we're going to get the template here taped on the car and I'll probably cut up the video just in sections as we get to uh, each step in the directions. As you can see here, infinity, genuine parts, and there are uh, 10 total pages with diagrams and uh, complete wording instructions. Okay, so where we are at is, as you can see, the, uh, the inner trunk liner has been removed. There's just your, your typical uh, push clips. Now I'd say two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow. There's 11 of them. Uh, these are the stops here and once you have the liner uh, off you actually reach your hand through here and just push them out also with the the pull handle from here um, and then we have the, the template is taped they want you to tape this section here and this section here as a reference for where the spoiler should line up and then Tim just used the center punch to punch out the four holes and where it is to drill. A little nerve-wracking but uh, well you can't make scrambled eggs without breaking some eggs right? Okay, so the instructions tell you to drill an eighth inch pilot hole, which is what Tim was doing there. Uh, you can see he put some tape over the lower surfaces so that he didn't get hot drill and uh, body panel shavings uh, on the sensitive plastic lenses. 23 64 for the two center holes.
All right, so as you can see, uh, only going 10 millimeters is easier said than done, but if you operate with care, you can get the job done without harming anything else. What's this, what's this size? 7 sixteenths. So 7 sixteenths for the outside holes because on the spoiler you have adjustable pegs. Whereas in the center two, they are uh, fixed. Seven sixteenths. Tim has a deburring tool here to smooth out the drill holes. So uh, once you drill the holes on the outside of the deck lid, the instructions ask you to remove these clips here on the inside because as you can see the template needs to go around that area so that you can drill the larger holes. The larger holes are so that you can get a socket on the inside in order to uh, tighten the nut that holds the spoiler on. So as you can see, uh, there is a clip hole that you line up with here and then you just tape the template off like this and then you have to do the center punch one more time for the four locations. So you remove these clips here from the hole and you line up this area of the template with the roundness of the bevel and then you have the holes that you drill with a hole saw. Now the purpose is because you can say oh well I can I can get a wrench in there and, and tighten that nut well uh, Infinity has very specific torque specifications so you will need a torque wrench for this and then they actually tell you to back off the outside ones 90 degrees Ear protection may not be a bad idea. <laughs> so once the templates are removed, you can see where the center punch mark is, and then you're using an inch and a quarter hole, hole saw. Uh, but again, we will be drilling an eighth inch pilot hole first. One, two, three, and four eighth inch pilot holes first. So 
We have the giant holes drilled. Uh, wasn't able to get any action shots because I was actually manning the vacuum to kind of keep the shavings down. So now we are going to be applying military grade. So, you get the idea. You want to make sure that uh, any of the bare metal you coat. So, a little bit on the outside, right on the edge, and then if you can, uh, try to manipulate a little bit on the inside. Uh, we'll come back and let you know how long it took for the product to dry, and then we can move on. Okay, so as you can see, it is dark outside, so it took for about, I'd say a good half hour for the uh, rust proofer to tack up. Um, I would say that you could probably wait to apply it to the ones on the, in, uh, on the inside last, because when you put the extension and the socket uh, through, it actually kind of rubs off just because of the, the clearance for the bolt. Uh, or the nut that goes on the stud. So these I'd say you can probably wait. Um, you could put it on and then leave the cover off overnight for it to dry or you could just put the cover on because it's going to dry regardless. But um, I did not get any any footage of putting the spoiler on because it was better with two people in order to line up the uh, studs. So uh, as mentioned the uh, outside studs are adjustable there they slide back and forth so um, I was on the left side and mine was all the way out but you can see the gap on either side is pretty good color match is solid and there you have it you have uh, a Q50S spoiler. So they tell you to take the triangle tabs uh, for the double-sided tape off on the corners first and then they have you tape uh, tape off the the excess peel so that when you when you stick it it sticks in the corners first and then you peel the tape along the sides and then they tell you to put about 15 pounds of pressure on it and that should hold it in place then you can open the deck lid and then put the uh, the nuts on the inside. Uh, one other thing is, is it tells you to uh, tighten them down to 3.3 to 3.8 newton meters. And York wrench, the the lowest setting isn't anywhere close. I mean, it would be it would be like 0.3. Uh, kilogram meters which the uh, torque wrench only goes down to like 35 and then it would be like you know two foot pounds so um, Tim just uh, tightened them to where they were snug and then like I said on the outside ones you want to back them off uh, a quarter turn or 90 degrees so um, I'll put a link to the rust proofing product purchased from the company PSC. So uh, you want to make sure that you you put your your trunk stops back in. You just press them back in from the outside. You route your uh, emergency pull handle through the slot and then press that into place. And then you have your 11 push clips and your uh, handle here. And then your trunk. Uh, is reassembled so uh, that's it so if you're interested in installing an infinity spoiler on your Q50S hopefully this install video helps you out so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and for more 
detailing videos and installation videos quite possibly please hit the subscribe button thanks